Hello to you all, I hope you're all okay. So we're down at the plot, I have got the big man with me. He is right there and we're starting to put up the fruit cage. So we are thinking, it's just been here. We, it was in our garage and we bought it down about a week ago. So what we're gonna do, what Vince is gonna do, should I say, is just lay it out. We haven't got any like instructions to put it together because we were given it by um, one of someone my dad knows, um, very kindly gave us it. So it hasn't got any instructions and things like that with it. We've got the netting, we've got the poles and we've got all the clips. So we've got everything that we need, but we don't really know how big it's gonna be like on the plot. So we're just gonna lay it out and we're gonna see where it fits because we're thinking it might actually go in this space here. Now we've brought it down here and we can see the size of the poles, we could actually fit it in this blank space here. Meaning that we haven't got to move all of this stuff, which we were gonna do, which I've been talking about moving these beds and having it here. We might not need to do that. So we're just gonna sort of lay it out and sit, I say we, Vince. <laughs> It's gonna lay it out. I'm gonna help obviously and we're gonna see if it could fit in the space right here So Vince is just laying out the poles to see how many of each that we've actually got so at the moment We've got two long ones and some shorter ones We're just gonna go from there really So the fruit cage will definitely fit in this little area here next to the polytunnel, in between the polytunnel and my brassica beds. You see, so it comes right down to the bottom here and it goes that way, but we have a big tree here. And I think that's where the door's gonna go. I think we have got a door here. Um, so not 100% sure if we can put it this side of the tree it might still need to go this side of the tree because we obviously want to be able to get in the door but we might still not have to move these two beds because this width here is the same as this width here so if we can't put it in here because the door's going to be in the, the tree's going to be in the way of the door we could put it this side and the door would be here we just need to make sure that there's enough room to get round here into the polytunnel. Although, you can get into the polytunnel that way as well. So lots of decisions, but I think there's gonna be a lot of different ways that we can make this work. So here's Vince just putting it up now. So it hasn't got um, anything at the bottom, it is just at the top. And then these are just gonna be put into the ground basically but it's just really good to even have a fruit cage. I'm just so thankful that it was given to us because these things do add up and they're just so expensive when you add it all together. Um, and us gardeners do like reusing things, don't we? So that is my question of the day. What is the best thing you've ever been given for your garden or allotment? Okay, so we've now moved the fruit cage from here to here. I think it might be better. It's, it's just a bit too close to all these other bits, I think. So we're thinking of moving it just across where we thought originally we would. So we're gonna have a look and see how it looks there. So I think we've cracked it. So we're gonna have it the opposite way. So if I come down this way, 
we're going to have it lengthwise along here so the door will be this one here because this is sort of at the end of where the mini poly tunnel is it's not going to get in anyone's way we can open and shut the door here i'll just have to move my rhubarb i've only got two rhubarb there this area just needs a good wood chip and then this will be completely clear and the door here this had my broad beans in it it's got absolutely nothing in there as you can see just some weeds so those two pallet collars can be moved as i thought to here behind the tree this side in between the poly tunnel and the brassica bed so those two can go there um we've got two here as well so that top one i think i'll move here so i'll have two beds here i'll have two beds here i might even be able to have more than two here actually but that's not um, a problem for now that's just a problem for the future and then i'll just have my fruit cage here so all my nice fruit will be in this bit yes so vince is just going to dig that in now it's actually really good size i can get loads of fruit in there which will be really good i'm thinking of raspberries blueberries gooseberries not sure but i can definitely get a few in here it's quite big So when I first took over this allotment, it was just completely different. I feel like it's just a completely different plot now. So now, as you walk into the entrance now, go through the arch, which at the moment has just got nothing on it, but it did have pumpkins on it. Go through, I've got all my beds to the side here. So I've got my asparagus bed there. That's where my cabbages are at the moment and my parsnips. I've got, um, leeks mooly radish i've got kale and more parsnips in there i've got some herbs in here then i've got my three beds here i've got my bed at the back there so this will be two here i'll have my fruit cage here i'll have my poly tunnel obviously here i'll have more beds here and i've got my mini poly tunnel there then i've got my pond area here which is looking a bit worse for wear again. My compost area and my shed. So I feel so good that the fruit cage is going up now because now I can spend the rest of the like autumn and winter preparing for next season. So I'm still gonna be growing a lot because my poly tunnel is really filling up now. I've got that side completely done. I've just got to do this side, but it means I can just spend the rest of the time like planning and just thinking where I'm gonna put everything next year, getting it all tidy, getting it all ready, getting the beds ready, it's so exciting. And Vince has just found, right down here, a brick. We are still finding stuff. And we've been doing, we've had this plot for, what, a year and a half? constantly like digging on it planting and we're still finding things right deep down in the soil the sun's actually been out today but it's gone really dark and look behind me there i think it's gonna rain so vince is just moving this bed and we think because there's nothing in there we should be able to just take the pallet collar from around the side. Yay! We can just flatten that. Oh wow, amazing, well done. So we moved the top that was on the two of these over here. So we've now got these two beds in this area. And then we've got basically a whole line of beds now. So that's been moved there. So as you can hear, the heavens have opened. It is absolutely pouring down. 
so we're gonna just have a bit of a break right now um i think we're probably gonna come back maybe tomorrow or the next day and actually put the net and everything on anyway but at the moment i'm really pleased that it's actually up I think it looks absolutely fantastic so um i think i'm gonna finish this video on another day so i will see you next time i'm back down here so we're back it's actually a few weeks later the temperature has really really dropped now so we're now in hats and scarves and stuff but we're back to finish off the fruit cage so the frame is up now and now we're just going to put the door on and the net in so the fruit cage by the end of our visit today should be completely up okay so first things first we just need to adjust some things because where we have positioned the fruit cage so right behind me here this frame here where the door's going to go so the door's going to be this end here next to my millie poly tunnel so this needs to go through one of these posts and we've positioned it in the wrong place so the place with the hole needs to be here so we're just going to change that now okay so this is where the door's going to be here so the hinges are here and then vince is just clipping this in now this support pole in the middle okay so vince is just taking out all of the weeds along that side where the net is eventually going to go onto the fruit cage just so that we haven't got any weeding to do around a net so the plan is just to flatten this ground here where the raised beds were because we moved the pallet collars so the pallet collars are now here that we're in that area so they that just needs to be flattened basically i have got two rhubarbs but i'll probably just leave it there for now so there's one here and there's one just outside but to be honest i'll probably just leave it where it is for now and then it's just a case of getting the net on So while Vince is digging, 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 I'll show you him behind me. He's over there. I'm just trying to clear out the shed a little bit because we had to get some bits and pieces out of there and it's been getting quite bad. So I've just pulled some stuff out. I've got my, my jute string from what my beans were climbing on and they've still got the beans on them. So I'm going to try and get them off a little bit. The rest of it is just a mess. I have just been tidying these bits of where I've been going, but I just thought I'd show you how bad it actually has got in here so i'm just going to pull together like the bamboo and things put the cardboard in the compost get the chairs back under the shelving unit get a little bit more order in here so that is actually my question of the day what do you think i should do inside this shed it is looking pretty sad isn't it i think i could probably make it a bit more homely but i just haven't got the vision can anyone help Okay, all done. So pleased with that. So nice to be tidy. Okay, so Vince has now dug up the excess soil. And what we've decided to do is just to pop that into these beds here. Now, a lot of this soil is actually compost and organic matter because it's what was in these two beds here so we took the pallet collars off this area and moved them over here so all the soil that is going in there actually was from those beds originally anyway so there's quite a lot of compost in here so the beds were where the fruit cage is and we just took the pallet collars off leaving everything behind so we're just literally transferring what was in the beds back into the beds so i'm quite happy just to cover that with cardboard for the winter weight it down and then plant into that in the spring so vince has just gone and got some wood chip and we're just filling the edge down here because once the netting is on it's going to be a little bit harder to reach that area so we're just putting some wood chip there just to suppress the weeds that come up from that side okay so vince is now just tightening up the hinges on the door so at the moment we have a nice door that's got netting on it 
but none of the rest of the cage has. So that is the last job. And then I can finally start planting in the fruit cage. So we were given this fruit cage, so we're not really sure how this netting goes on. So we've got a really, really small netting. And we've also got this one. So this does look quite big, but I don't think it will cover the whole fruit cage. So this is where it could get interesting. Okay, so the pieces of netting we've got go all, literally cover all the way around. So we're just going to tie it in and then I think we'll probably just put this bit over the top. So I'm just going to help Vince out with cable ties just to attach it to the frame. Okay, so we've got the netting all the way around now and now we're just going to put the last bit of netting over the top. Okay, so we're now just going to go round just putting these clips on so they're just attaching the top bit of netting that we've put on to the bottom bit of netting just to secure it but that is looking so fabulous now okay the fruit cage is all up it's all ready to go the netting's all secure on it is looking absolutely fabulous it's actually freezing now it's freezing cold the temperature has just dropped and it is so cold so we're just doing the finishing touches now a few last clips to hold the netting on and then we are going to be going home for a nice warm cup of tea thank you so much for watching today and i will see you again soon